Hello, in this video, I want to continue the series that we've been doing with space privatization and Afro-pessimism. I really enjoyed this series because I think that Afro-pessimism always has really interesting ways of interrogating various resolutions and being able to pull out some of the more nuanced arguments that particularly fit each resolution is really interesting because it really allows me to really think about how you can kind of like draw various types of arguments from different authors that may be commonly read in debate, but really find ways to apply them to like the history or the idea of the kind of like political conversation that's happening in the resolution specifically. And and I really hope that these videos are helping kind of kind of like contributing to your thoughts about like the role that Afro pessimism stirs on space privatization. If you haven't, I would definitely go back and watch the last video that I did before this or the intro to Afro pessimism space privatization because both those videos kind of like set up what is really the core content that will be in this video, which is going to be kind of like furthering the series that we've been doing by talking about how policy teams can better respond to Afro pessimism when it's run on the negative against critical teams. This video will kind of like cover a lot of my ideas about how you respond to the link debate, the permutation, impact comparison alternative debating um, which is really important considering like a lot of the stuff that we've talked about in the last video about like what your priority should be your framing arguments your thesis arguments and how you can kind of like use some of these kind of like top level ideas to really push what a lot of this kind of like central content will be as you kind of continue to learn about like what the best responses are and so I hope that uh, when you're kind of like listening to this you're pulling from a kind of like understanding how the objectives that I kind of laid out in the first round really fit into what's being applied to the line by line here which is like really interesting considering where we're We'll start off with the link debate. I think that a lot of the link arguments that we talked about um, when we were originally doing the part of this series that was talking about how Afro pessimism can be better read or applied really start off with thinking about like how particular link arguments can kind of be made about like the idea of the portion of the resolution that teams have kind of been using where you kind of like reject the privatization of space but that kind of like means that you're able to uh create a different um space program that's kind of like publicly used or that uh, uh, operates like at the level of just like different international states instead of like privatized space and i think that this is a really uh, interesting way to think about like the role that space plays because i feel like a lot of the links that will then will be generated by teams reading afro pessimism will be about why the particular relationship to uh, human futurity vitality science etc are all kind of like made in order to like be able to push the idea that we have to pursue a future where politics is kind of like made by the ability of white humanity to ascend itself beyond various types of human capabilities into like uh, various types of spaces outside of that capacity and then why that kind of like ascension is able to solidify a kind of like sociocultural understanding of whiteness as like this hegemonic entity that kind of controls scientific ev evolution and pushes like that linear notion of progress towards like civil society into the future and I feel like a lot of the arguments that like are really necessary at the point of the link argument besides like you know the obvious kind of like no link argument that's just like this is like the status quo like attempt at space privatization is to go beyond just to isolate it as the status quo and to push arguments about why that uniqueness of the status quo makes it more pertinent for the affirmative instead of less to make arguments about how even if there are faults to the way in which the state inevitably kind of relates or creates funds or etc off of its space program because the state is inevitably tied to histories of violence that there is a world that is worse because of the way in which <coughs> things like capitalism is already kind of like more the arena for what competition and the context of space looks like could be a really interesting avenue for you to spin a lot of these link arguments into reasons why the kind of like better notion is to think about like how the future is about by the lens of the affirmative because of the way in which alternative kind of like futuristic measures taken by those kind of like other means are much worse and pose a much worse problem than like just the question of whether or not we should let the status quo continue but rather a question of like how fast the kind of condition of the status quo will accelerate in order to like worsen the kind of like already deepening gaps in terms of various sources of not only inequality but mobilization in the context of space that make these types of like sciences and technology particularly dangerous for particular communities. I then think that a lot of this stuff and when you start to kind of like put weight on these arguments allow you to not only put weight on the alternative but really to push the question of the permutation although I've kind of like said in the last video in the last couple of videos before these two where I talked about like how to read Afro pessimism on the negative that the best way to go is to kind of like refuse to like think about space as something creative or generative in the first place and so a lot of these alternatives kind of follow on the idea of just refusal or a different analytical frame for how we think about like human value in these things and questions etc um, as like analytical ideas or as like a pistol logical frameworks but I think that uh, in the context of the permutation if you're able to apply some of the kind of like framework offense that we talked about in the last video where we talked about why comparative views of the future are like necessary and inevitable because of the way in which conversation around space are necessary and inevitable and those two things are inextricably tied because space uh, like requires us to go beyond the bounds of like what human kind of like relationships and like human uh, capacities have like been known to be up until then I think that uh, thinking about like why this uh, particularly uh, I this framework 
driving question is really important is because it allows you to think why inevitably there is kind of a necessary consideration for Afro-pessimism to think about space other than just like some blanket thing that we reject, but rather something that has to have a different alternative relationship to you. And if the affirmative can then find out ways that you make steps in that direction, then I feel like you have a lot more leverage to weigh in terms of why the permutation becomes viable. I then think that when you go into questions of like impact comparison, I think that it's really important to separate the like value of thinking through the various kind of scenarios that are created under the conditions of like space population um, uh, or, or the idea of just space exploration, sorry, um, and think about like why those kind of like conditions of thinking about like the real threats to, to that come from those things are separated from the idea of just like futurity as a blanket idea. Uh, a lot of the kind of like arguments that are made in the context of impact comparison from the side of Afro-pessimism are tied to the idea of like this attempt to kind of like uh, transpose humanity into the future or make humanity like something that is able to like infinitely survive and therefore like kind of ontologizes the conditions of the status quo. And so I feel like the best response in order to like get an accurate way to think about impact comparison for the judge outside of those frames is to think about like why the kind of like terms of that impact comparison are much closer than they think, to think about like why the impacts of space are much more proximate than they are far away and take these kind of like impact scenarios, even if they feel that way outside of the line of just like, oh, this is this one person scenario and make them feel more comparative to questions of like what's happening, where our infrastructure or other things that are prepared for the types of disasters that we're really trying to resolve by needing to go out to space in the first place and think about those as like barometers about what are kind of like the proximate effects of the types of political conversations that are really offered by the affirmative. And I think all those things put together mean that when you get into the alternative, you have a lot of like offense to kind of start pushing in terms of why the question of just having epistemological frame to refuse like policy doesn't really do enough in order to think about like what space can really be as a space that does something to resolve a lot of the problems that have come with the kind of like evolution of history as a particular notion of progress and that require a kind of like different relationship to how we're holding various entities uh, culpable and accountable and what it means to make them more responsive instead of the system and the status quo that kind of like allows this kind of like grab from all parties that uh, ultimately allows for you know the acceleration of those like Elon Musk and other kind of like hyper capitalist projects to continue in such a way that only like re reproduce extend and like magnify various types of inequalities that would be like worsened under the conditions of like what the alternative will be doing which is like refusing or making it impossible to think about space as something other than that hopefully this video has been helpful for you and hopefully you'll tune into the rest of the series i'll be doing with afro pessimism in space and yeah thank you as always for tuning in always appreciate it and see you next time